What's up guys, Tommy Bowyer here from Move Rewind and today I'm going to talk about some of the recent news we've had from Casualty. There's been quite a bit of news released in the last couple of days so I thought it was finally time to do a video on it. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the main reason I decided to do a casualty video is because a few days ago casualty announced a brand new character that would be joining the show. Siobhan McKenzie who will be replacing Donna Jackson as clinical nurse manager. Now Siobhan McKenzie is going to be portrayed by Melaine Hill and obviously I don't usually know the actors um, who are coming into casualty just because I don't watch as much TV as some others but I do know who Melaine Hill is. She was in Waterloo Road during its later years she portrayed Maggie Budgen who was a caterer teacher and I have to say I always thought she was very talented in that program she always comes across as quite an affectionate and compassionate person and I think the actor is really good at portraying like motherly figures so I think it makes sense that she's been cast as the apparently firm but fair Siobhan McKenzie I'm really looking forward to seeing what they're going to do with this new character obviously with Siobhan coming in that does confirm that Donna Jackson is is not coming back as clinical nurse manager. Now, um, I think everyone was as shocked as I was that the fact that Donna was actually sentenced to prison for dangerous driving, and it looks like that Jay Jacobs has actually left the role only after six months, and I have to say I'm very upset about that because Donna was a great character during f series 37. Jay Jacobs, incredible actor, very talented, and also having Donna in casualty kind of confirmed that Holby City's legacy lived on so it is very sad to see Donna go. Saying that though I am looking forward to seeing what they're going to do with this new character in Siobhan McKenzie. They've already got a good actor portraying it so it will just be interesting to see what they intend to do with that character going forward and what impression she is going to have on the ED as a whole. Now my excitement over a new casting announcement was kind of overshadowed by the really sad news that John Sen would be departing Kalshti at the end of the year after two years as executive producer. And in all honesty, I am very sad to see John Sen leave. Now, I was nervous about John Sen coming in because even though I don't watch EastEnders, I heard that his tenure as executive producer at EastEnders was very controversial. So I was concerned. But he has breathed new life into Casualty. I mean, Series 37 is one of the strongest series of Casualty I have seen in a very long time. I love how Sen seems to get this show. He has directed a number of episodes. He has written a number of episodes. He's produced a number of episodes before he took over as executive producer. So he understands Casualty and he obviously knows that innovation is a very important uh, feature of making Casualty a continued success. Obviously, some of the episodes which he has overseen, such as the Paramedics Improvisation episode, which aired last Christmas, or celebrating the NHS's 75th anniversary with that groundbreaking um, documentary series with real uh, medical workers uh, um, commenting on the events that were occurring in Casualty. So, John Sen is someone who just gets Casualty and yeah, it is incredibly sad to see him go. Obviously, I think he's going to go on to do bigger and better things. But that does worry me because obviously that means there'll be a new executive producer. And obviously, every time a new executive producer comes in, there's a bit of concern amongst casualty viewers because you never really know if um, a new boss is going to continue what the old boss was doing or do something radically different. I just hope that casualty continues being um, as interesting, as engaging as it is at the moment because they're riding on a high, in my opinion, right now. And I want them to continue that. Now, obviously, John Sen is not the only person to part in the program. Obviously, in 2024, we have Derek Thompson depart in the role of Charlie Fairhead after 37 years. It's going to be very strange not having Charlie in the ED. And obviously, the even more devastating news that Nigel Harmon's depart in the role of clinical lead Max Christie after just a year. Now, that is incredibly sad because Max Christie is one of the best characters Casualty has had introduced in a very long time. Nigel Harmon, a great actor, a very charismatic lead, and I think someone who just adds a bit of charm to Casualty. So it's very sad to see him leave. He's, apparently he said that there are no plans for him to return in the future, 
but I hold out hope because I think Max is such an interesting character and I would have loved to have seen more of him. So I really do hope that Nigel Harmon might be persuaded to stay on. I know it's very unlikely, but fingers crossed because Nigel Harmon's added a lot of um, charm to Casualty in the year he's been there. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is something a bit more general about Casualty as a programme. Now, some of you may know that at the moment, Casualty is on a hiatus, um, which weren't a massive surprise for me because last autumn they also went on hiatus. However, the BBC have actually officially confirmed what's going on with Casualty and what its future holds. Now, basically, what the BBC have said is that um, due to the cost of living crisis, they've had a lot of cutbacks. So now they want to push for quality over quantity. So that means that Casualty's episode count has been reduced. Now, usually a series of Casualty contains from 43 to 48 episodes, and it usually airs all year long. Now it has been reduced to 36 episodes, and it will have an extended break um, in the autumn. Now, some of you might be saying that, oh, this is the first step in Casualty being cancelled. For my part, I am not that worried at the moment. I mean, when I was growing up watching Casualty, um, it didn't used to air in August. You know, for most of the summer, Casualty weren't on. They used to take quite a break. Now, obviously, that changed and um, they upped to how many episodes of Casualty they were airing um, every year. So I'm not as worried. As long as reduced episode count means that we get better quality, then that is fine with me. Um, from what I can see on Casualty's social media, viewing f the viewers are still there. Like Casualty still has a very strong and dedicated fan base who are going to support that uh, show through thick and thin. So in all honesty, I am optimistic about Casualty's future. I mean, it won a BAFTA a few months ago. So the show is still an award-winning show. The BBC would be out of their minds to cancel it because Casualty still has strong viewing figures. It regularly appears in the top 50 uh, programs in the UK. So yeah, I don't think Casualty is at risk of cancellation. I just think they've had to reduce the episode count in order to kind of help with the BBC's budget in issues. So yeah, I'm not rowed and I don't think there is any need to row that Casualty is at risk of cancellation anytime soon. So thanks for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe in order to receive great and maybe even improved quality content in the future. Now I honestly, I just thought I'd do this video because there has been quite a bit of news out of Casualty recently and I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on, give my thoughts on it. In all honesty, I'm really enjoying Casualty at the moment. As I said earlier in the video, I think it's riding on a high at the moment and I just hope that that continues. I can't wait for it to return from its hiatus. Um, it looks like a number of the storylines are going to be really interesting. Hopefully we get a new trailer as well because obviously I love watching Casualty trailers. It gets you so hyped for the show. So anyway guys, I hope you have a good day and I will see you in another one. See ya!